So I'm starting with the Apex fever. So I have prepared for pre this static final. So first coming to this keyword. Meanwhile, I'll open the developer console. Okay. So this keyword, so we use this, this keyword to represent the current instance of the class. And uh, this keyword, it differentiates between class instance variable and local variable. So generally, uh, when we declare the variable, we'll declare the variables inside the class and also we declare the variables inside the methods. So the method variables uh, we call local variables. And the variables which we declare inside the class, uh, we call those variables as class instance variables. So here you can see uh, in this class, uh, in, in this Apex class, which is named this keyword demo. Here, I'll show you in developer console. So, uh, so this is my class, public class, this keyword demo. So here I have a different string uh, uh, str. And I have provided the value. Madam, one minute, madam. Just one minute. Just select Control A. Control A. Should plus tab. Uh, now it's look good, madam. When you are writing, just uh, saving that code should be format, madam. Okay. Okay. Uh, you should use the keyword. Uh, okay. You can. Yes, that's right. So uh, in this uh, in this class, I am defining a string. And I'm providing the default value. I'm giving the value itself. The name is default value. And in the same class, uh, I have defined a method, this keyword demo, uh, which we can call as constructor. As class name and the method name is same, which is constructor. So in the constructor also, I'm defining the uh, same same variable, str. And data type is string. So, uh, so here I have... Uh, so I'm writing two statements. One is for local value and one is for current instance value. In local value, I have, I, I, I'm uh, trying to get, I'm trying to call a local variable, which is uh, declared inside the constructor. And in the second statement, I'm trying to call the uh, class instance variable. So to call the class instance variable, we use this. We use keyword this. So this, uh, we can, uh, you can go to an anonymous window and you can execute this. Actually, I have uh, practiced yesterday, so already I have this. So, just a second. So you can see, right? This keyword demo. I have uh, I have created the class instance for this. So, as this is a constructor, no need of calling the method again. So I have uh, created the class instance and I have passed the variable for the uh, constructor, which is string str. This I have passed here using test this keyword. So this I'm going to run in the, I'm going to execute. So here you can see. So here I have given the two. One is local value and the second one is current instance value. As current instance value is, uh, is called by defining this keyword, we'll get the class instance variable value, which is nothing but default value. So current instance value is a default value, which is declared inside the class, which is provided the value by default. And local value, local value is a test this keyword, which I have, pro which I have passed uh, uh, when creating the class instance, which is this. So this is a, uh, this uh, this keyword. So if anyone has doubts, uh, please ask me. So, so for the same example, uh, I have just uh, mentioned a statement here, uh, which is uh, having one instance variable and one local variable. And uh, our method uh, local variable is nothing but method parameter with same name. So I have mentioned everything. str is default value is parameter value and this dot str is class variable, which is nothing but current instance variable. So to execute that, I have uh, 
the uh, code here also, uh, which we have to enter in the developer console. So for the same, we got this uh, output. So next, moving on to static. Uh, static keyword, it defines a method or variable with, uh, which can be initialized once and is associated with an outer class and initialization code. Actually, a uh, static keyword, uh, it, uh, it remains the same state throughout the uh, program. It variables mean, and the static variables, uh, we can call the static variables using class name. No need of creating the instance of a class. Uh, we can directly uh, call uh, class name dot uh, method or cl class name dot variable for the static method. So next, uh, going to yes. So next, I have uh, uh, I have created a class with name static keyword demo. Here, I have a. Uh, in, I have uh, declared two variables. One is num1 and the second one is num2. Num1 I have just declared the normally public integer num2. And coming to num1, I have defined using static keyword. So uh, we can find what's the difference between static and if we don't give the static. So next, uh, I have declared the method public word update values. Here, actually, I have used the same example which are given in the class. So this one, num1 equal to num1 plus 10, num2 equal to num2 plus 10. Uh, so I'm writing two debug statements, num1 and num2. So going to uh, anonymous window. I have uh, created the object and I have called the uh, method. I have called the method twice. For the, uh, for the first object, I have created the uh, when I have created the object, I have given the object name static example one. In the second instance, I have given the name as static example two. So when I am calling the uh, update values method using the first instance, uh, I will get the value uh, as num one is zero and num two is zero. We'll get num one is zero plus ten ten. Num two is zero plus ten ten. So in the first instance, we'll get num1 equal to 10, num2 equal to 10. Uh, but when I have created the class instance again in the second time, so uh, second time, num1 equal to 10, uh, it will uh, retain the value 10. It will not retain the original value 0 because I have used the static. But coming to num2, as num2 is 0 plus 10 is 10. It is 10 in the first instance. But when, it, when we have created the uh, second class instance again, num2, it will take the initial uh, declared value 0. Um, if we have created, uh, again, one or more, uh, any number of class instances, num2 always takes the value 0 only. But coming to num1, as we have declared it as static, uh, it will uh, retain the latest value, updated value. As num1 is 0 plus 10, for the second, uh, in, for the second instance, it will take value 10. Uh, if we declare the same, uh, same instance one more time, it will take 10 plus 10, 20. Third time, we'll get 20, 10. Uh, next, uh, fourth time, we'll get 30, 10. So I'm executing this. See, first time, we'll got, we got num1 equal to 10 and num2 equal to 10, both. In the second instance, we got num1 equal to 20, num2 equal to 10. So both are from line 7 and 8, 7, 8. So uh, as I told you, as the uh, num1 is uh, declared by static keyword, uh, uh, it, uh, num2 remains constant always. And num1, uh, like it maintains the state every time, like uh, 0 plus num1. It, it maintains the same state always. No, no, not the, just yes, yeah. num1. Uh, num1 plus 10, sorry, not 0 plus num1, 10 plus num1. It always maintains the same state as it is declared as static. So in the first instance, in the first case, num1 is 0. So it will take 0. Yeah, when we uh, call the, when we declare the class instance and when we run that num1 will, value will be 0 plus 10. 10. So in the uh, next instance or next object creation, uh, if we uh, print the num1 again, it will take the uh, updated value, 10 plus 10. In the uh, next time, it will take uh, 20 plus 10. So this is a static keyword. 
Oh yeah, I have mentioned the same thing. As number is initialized by state static keyword, it maintains the state throughout the program. So and uh, this is the developer console code to execute. And coming to last keyword, final. Final variables can only be assigned a value once. Uh, whenever uh, we want to value, we want to pass a value which uh, we, we don't want to change and which should be constant. We use we we'll use the keyword final. Generally, we use the final keyword to declare constants. And the main thing is constant. We can declare uh, only inside the when either when you declare a variable or inside a construct constructor. So we can uh, use the final keyword when we declare the variable or inside a constructor. And we cannot uh, use the final keyword uh, inside the class or a method. Yeah, you cannot use the final keyword in the declaration of a class or method. Then move to final keyword demo. So this is a, a class I have created with the name final keyword demo. Here I have uh, yeah, declared the variable retirement age, which is I have given the value 65 as it's a number. I have given integer and I have declared this variable using the keyword final. Uh, so in this, I have created one more method, public final keyword demo, as it is the same name of class. We can uh, call this as constructor without parameter. So inside the constructor, uh, I'm declaring the same uh, variable again, determined age equal to 75. And then I'm passing the debug statement. Uh, so like, uh, can someone tell, as I have told you already, uh, return, as uh, when we uh, uh, declare, when we declare the final keyword, when we declare any variable using final keyword, the value remains constant. But I have declared the same variable again uh, with a different value. So can someone tell if we go to let me just go to. So I have uh, uh, declared the class. In, I have declared class uh, instance here. So can can someone tell what will be the output here? Determine it. Uh, it will. It will throw an error. No, no. It will throw an error. It won't execute. So what will be the error? Like we cannot uh, assign. We cannot change the value of final something like that. Yeah, yes, you are right, actually. As final keyword, as a, as a variable is already declared with the final keyword once, and it is initiated uh, with the value 65, we cannot, declare, we cannot uh, change the value again. You are right. Okay, final variable has already been initialized. We are getting this. So uh, final variables, you should always use caps like you know, variable names. Don't use small letters. Co always constant should be like a complete word should be caps letter. Oh, okay, sir. Understand? Uh, okay, sir. Uh, do we get any error or uh, it's... No, we will not get any error. That is okay. the practice. Oh, okay, okay, sir. And you have to show like um, how we can call static variables, static methods with a class name. That is also if you give, it will be good. Okay, no problem now. Static methods I have not covered. Variables you can directly call with class name, right? Yes, sir. Mm. No need of creating separate objects for them. Yeah. Okay. So that's all, sir. I have not added any questions. I have just added, I have only this question. If we uh, give the uh, final variable again, what will be the output? Mm. You should ask questions, madam. Okay. So everyone is clear, sir. This is your first presentation, madam. Second. Okay, I'll already you done the one in admin, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Good man. It is good actually. It is clear. So anyone have any questions, sir? So tell me, uh, uh, Donapa, why will use this keyword? Donapa. Why will you use yes, this keyword? This keyword is When will you use this sir, when we Under the variables, then we will use this keyword. Okay. This keyword is used. 
संपूर्ण और निधि कल्याणी बनी मिली जिसकी वजह टू रेफर द क्लास इंस्टेंस मीन्स करेंट क्लास इंस्टेंस वैल्यू डेटली कैन कॉल वेरिएबल राइट देन व्हाई वी नीड टू दिस कीवर्ड डेटली कैन कॉल वेरिएबल व्हाट इज द यूज यस यस इन केस इफ द क्लास वेरिएबल एंड द लोकल वेरिएबल नेम्स आर सेम करेक्ट सो इन ऑर्डर टू रेफर द क्लास वेरिएबल एट दैट टाइम वी यूज दिस वेरिएबल दिस कीवर्ड हां दैट इज द इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट यू नीड टू टेल लेसन मैन ओके सर ओके सर सो नव्या मैडम व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ स्टैटिक कीवर्ड it will maintain the same value across the across the class sir, transaction class, transaction not class madam transaction okay. see across why the... uh, transaction why transaction means in one class you can call another class right yes. another class you can call one more class like that it, it will be maybe chain we don't okay. know exactly right so it will maintain throughout the transaction same value across the transaction That here is. variables and methods we can call directly sir with a class name with a class name and another one is we uh, to avoid the recur trick recursive triggers in uh, salesforce we can salesforce. go for the static keyword static keyword uh, good good so what is the use of uh, final keyword shammu nidhi shammu Hussain, what is the use of the final keyword? Why will use final keyword? Sir, when when we give the uh, first uh, value, then again we cannot change, sir, in final keyword. Ah, at least I forgot. Just give me some uh, perfect definition. In the for which type of variables we can use? For which type sir, of variables? Sir, shall I shall I try? Yeah, madam, madam. Yeah, in order to define a value constant, constant value, ah, we use the final it. keyword. Ah. so uh, we should not change the value of a final uh, we should not change the value of a variable ah. which is declared by final keyword throughout. so yes, throughout the program yes sir it will throw an error it won't execute correct so it is a fixed value example pi can we change pi value no that no, is sir. always the uh, what is the formula madam 3.17 no? something 3.14 uh, uh, so that values we cannot change always right So in that case, we can declare values with the pi, two point one seven. You can use that formula wherever you want variables. Good, madam. This is very really good, madam. But next time, please add questions. If you add questions and if you ask questions, then it will be good. More questions. Yeah, options sure, also sure. you can give one, two, three, four options, right, madam? Yeah, sure. Like you can create a sample class. Like how you can call this static variable? Example, class object name dot variable name or uh, class name dot variable name or uh, something like that. You can give object to dot name. Okay, madam. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Let's go. Thank you.